Your blood type is determined by specific proteins or antigens found on the surface of your red blood cells. Blood types include type A, B, AB, and O. There are also other varieties of blood types due to proteins that are not as commonly known that are on the red blood cells. These proteins on our red blood cells are called agglutinogens, which means to begin agglutination or clumping. Blood will clump when antibodies against those agglutinogen are present. When considering antigens for blood typing, it's important to recall the cell membrane structure. Cell membrane is predominantly made up of phospholipids. It's a phospholipid bilayer because there's two rows of these phospholipids. Embedded within this layer are a variety of organic molecules, including proteins and carbohydrates. It's structural proteins on the surface of the cell membrane that are our antigens. Basic shapes that are familiar to us are commonly used instead of complex protein shapes that would normally be found in the body. A person that has type A blood type has type A antigens on their blood cells. They produce anti-B antibodies so that if someone's blood that is type B is introduced into their body, their antibodies will recognize that as foreign and generate agglutination or blood clumping. Likewise, if someone is type B blood, they will have B antigens and produce anti-A antibodies. So if blood type A is introduced into their body, anti-A antibodies will bind to that blood type and create agglutination. One of these blood types is known as the universal recipient and can receive blood from any blood type. One person is referred to as the universal donor. Can you determine why those blood types are the universal recipient or donors? The antibodies produced in our body against foreign blood are also known as agglutininins. You have to be careful with some of this language because we also have agglutinogens, which are synonymous with the blood antigens. Agglutininins, without the extra G, are synonymous with the antibodies. So type A person will produce anti-B antibodies or agglutininins. Type B individuals will produce anti-A antibodies or agglutinins. Erythroblastosis fetalis is a condition due to the RH blood protein. An RH negative female has a child with an RH positive male, and the child will be RH positive. This first child is fine except the mother becomes sensitized to her baby's RH positive blood, which she recognizes as foreign. She creates anti-RH positive antibodies. If the female has a second child, it will also be RH positive due to the parent's genetics. However, RH positive antibodies will cross the mother's bloodstream into the baby's body, attacking the baby's blood cells. Erythroblastosis can be prevented by suppressing the mother's anti-RH antibodies after her first pregnancy.